full row cage, fuel cells, disc brakes, modern gauges, modern electrical, of course. These cars were originally 6 volt positive ground. Not, not very useful anywhere and definitely not in Colorado. And the racing seats and five point harness, window nets, modern gauges. I've had a lot of fun building these things. Don't ask me why. Certainly no collector following or, or other interest. The three car team idea was probably the best thing I came up with. And then using modern 440s makes them a lot more repairable that is you can get parts for them out of most uh, auto parts stores the suspension brakes stuff like that's all modern the idea was to if I needed a spindle or bearing or an A-arm or something I could get it anywhere anywhere in Mexico or the US for that matter um, It's not easy being a brilliant genius. This is another car I built for the uh, Mexican road race. It's a 68 XJ6 with a uh, small box Chevy basically stocked with a four barrel and better ignition full roll cage fuel cell disc brakes of course um, have a fun little project the organizers would not allow the car I suppose it was something I said I think that's the problem right there This was a fun little project. The place where I get my mail, because I was getting auto parts in the mail, the guy kept saying, I've got a car you should have. <laughs> and of course it was in pretty sorry shape when I got it. I went through it mechanically. It's fun to drive. Um, not very effective this time of year. This is a fun car to drive. Not very useful in the snow though. That's it. I think I, I am crazy. What the hell am I doing this stuff for? <laughs>